Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Today I'm going to show you a quick video about my process on how I make one of my scrappy bags. I'm not going to be giving measurements because I just took random bits of fabric and cut sections off. Some are maybe three inches wide, some might be two and three quarters wide or two inches wide as far as my strips are concerned. And then I believe the width was 16 inches and I don't know. The panel itself was eight inches tall. The bottom portion was four and the top was two and a quarter. So it's just, this isn't a tutorial by any means. This is just me making a bag, me recording it and kind of showing you a few steps. I know I left a couple steps out as far as attaching the straps, um, making the straps, how I attached the closure and the snaps. So like I said, it's not a tutorial by any means. Just sit back, relax, and watch me go through the process of making one of my scrappy bags. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, scroll around and check out some of my videos. I have sewing and crochet videos. I have some tutorials. See what you think. And uh, if you like my content, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. All right, let's just jump right into it, okay? So here I'm putting the bottom portion of my bag wrong side down to the gluey side of my fusible fleece and adhering it down with a hot iron. As you can see, it's stuck nicely. Now this is the panel portion of my bag I told you about. This is eight inches tall and some of these are two inches, three inches, etc. I also fused lightweight interfacing to the back. I'm gonna put it down right sides together here and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam right here. As you can see, I've got my quarter inch seam here. I'm going to, without trying to stretch the fabric too much, flip it up, give it a nice press along the seam here, just finger press all those seams, and then give it a nice press with a hot iron to adhere this portion to your fusible fleece. Do the whole thing. Now I'm gonna take my two and a quarter inch top piece, this strip here, going to lay it across the top just like we did before, right sides together, and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. Do the same thing. There's my quarter inch seam and flip it up. I know I got all this extra fleece on here. We're going to give this a nice finger press as well, and then we're going to adhere this down as well. Just make sure you press those seams really nice. There's a lot, there's a lot with all those um, pieced parts together there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the, all this extra batting. There it is. I think it turned out pretty good. I love the colors. Here's the back. I think it looks pretty good make two of these. I've already pieced my other one together here. And once you've got the front and the back, you're gonna work on the lining. Cut um, two of these. I think it's 16 wide by however tall your panel piece is. Totally up to you. I'm not sure if I have enough for two of this. I pre-made my pocket, I forgot to film it but I just used the same scraps and the same teal fabric here. Um, did a little decorative stitch on the top of the pocket here, gives it a little bit more durability, and I also used fusible fleece in this pocket. 
make sure the part with the pins is facing at toward the bottom of your bag um, because as when we sew the top stitching around it'll close that that seal up yeah as you can see I didn't have enough of that tail fabric so I picked out this really pretty purple color that looks really well with the bag too so I have the pocket and I'm just going around I do a nice back stitch at the beginning and the end of this when I get to the corners I just pivot and I'm sewing really close to the edge here and closing up that that turning gap that I had in the pocket and here it is attached looks pretty good I think it stands out really well against this purple fabric now that you've got this portion of your lining done the pocket is attached it looks really nice it's a nice size pocket it's about six inches deep by about six and a half seven inches wide you're going to take your other lining piece and we're going to lay them right sides together make sure the opening of your pocket is at the top we're going to leave a turning gap here at the bottom we're going to start and back stitch up at the corner there get to here back stitch jump over the pin back stitch and sew the rest of the bottom of your bag and all the way back up and back stitch up there like i said make sure the opening of your pocket is at the opening of your your lining bag here this is our turning gap i'm also going to put some lightweight interfacing onto these pieces of scraps here because this will be the closure flap it measures four and a half wide by five inches tall these squares and these are just the in the back and the front of the closure flap i've put the lightweight interfacing fused on there right sides together measuring it out and just cut these rounded corners with a scissor you can use a rotary cutter if you want so i've cut this out pinned it together and we're gonna see they're just right sides together here we're going to go and sew a quarter inch seam around this. There's my quarter inch seam. I'm gonna take my pinking shears and just cut around the rounded corners. It just helps it lay really flat once you turn it and go to do your top stitching. See, just like that. Just remove my pins and we're gonna flip this right side out. Just give that seam a nice little finger press and round out those corners and flatten them out a little bit and then um, just hit it with your iron now we're going to do a top stitch all along here there it is I think it looks pretty good now take your two outer bag panels and sew all the way around back stitching at both corners looks pretty looks pretty good now we're just going to take our marker here this little marker here fabric safe marker and I'm going to mark where to box my corners I did mine two inch by two inch do it both to your lining piece and your outer bag piece and then I just cut mine out with a scissor a really sharp scissor Here we go the boxing of the corners so we're going to take the bottom seam and one of your side seams and match them up making sure they're nesting nicely I put pins in it just because I like to hold it together and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way across both on the lining and the outer bag this is what it looks like all boxed I like to reinforce it here across these thicker seams and this is what the bottom now looks like of your bag and now we're going to take this outer bag and flip it right side out you want to make sure that you're getting 
all the corners pushed out really nice um, it's kind of thick that seam down there and this is what it looks like I've already put the cam snap in forgot to tell you about that I've already attached the straps but we're going to have the outer bag right side out and the lining bag wrong side out and we're going to place the outer bag into the lining I know it sounds strange but trust me it works making sure my handles are out of the way and we're going to line up the side seams here do that on the other side just making sure everything lays nice and flat and we're going to line up the seams pin it clip it do it however you'd like and we're going to backstitch here and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way around See, it's sewn all the way around and now through the turning gap that we left in our lining we are going to slowly and carefully pull all of it through that so pushing starting it from the corners just push it through and work it carefully don't tug too hard and you're gonna pull it through I'm just gonna trim up these extra little pieces of thread I see sitting here as I flip it around and check to make sure that the bag is secure and then I'm just going to close up the little turning gap that we had left in the lining we're going to take this see I'm just checking it out it looks pretty good we're going to take this and fold it in on itself pushing out the corners first I almost forgot to do that I got to push out those lining corners I'm just going to turn this in, give it a press, and then we're going to sew right across that to close it up. See, I get as close as I can to the edge to close up that gap. We're going to push it all into the bag, put the lining into the bag. See, Pro I told you it'd work out. It'd work out just fine. I'm going to give it a press and then I'm going to top stitch all the way around the top. And this is what it looks like now that it's been top stitched all along that upper edge. And that just kind of keeps the lining from bulging out. I'm going to give it a final press here. Iron down everything really nice. And it's getting ready to show off. Now these are the straps I forgot to show you. I forgot to film me making them. But it just turned out so lovely. It's evening when I recorded this part so the lighting's not so great and I didn't realize my sister was watching TV in the background so I apologize about that but nice deep pocket it's sturdy it can stand up on its own it's so scrappy and these colors together are just amazing I think it turned out absolutely stunning look at those handles love that fabric it was so fun to work with these fabrics and just create my own style no rhyme or reason no super precise measurements I mean there are but look at it I mean let it speak for itself I absolutely love it the bottom looks good it's about a four inch box bottom it's got the snap closure, nice long handles. They're 19 inch straps. This is what the bottom looks like here. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria. Bye bye.